So this is one of the rare forms of income that I'd say is truly passive. And I first encountered this thanks to this Reddit user who shared this opportunity in the passive income subreddit where he earns $250 a month, fully passive, through Eleven Labs. And if in case you don't know, Eleven Labs is basically an AI tool that specializes on speech. So after doing some research, as well as trying it out for myself, I can confirm that it does work. And today we'll go through why it's important to get in on this early, as well as step-by-step -step instructions on how you can set this up for yourself. So in this lesson, you will learn how to set up your own voice clone with Eleven Labs and how to make it available for commercial use so that you can earn passive income. And you can see here at the voice library, the voices contributed by the community are available here. And the voices here at the top that have been added by tens of thousands of users are likely earning thousands of dollars in passive income in a month. And you can see there's a huge variety of voices here. There's some that are good for book narration, like this one. In the middle of every difficulty lies opportunity. But you can also see how those with accents are doing quite well, like this one. Whatever your voice is, there's actually an opportunity for you to be recognized here because people around the world do need a variety of voices depending on their use case. And to help make it easier, I've made the resources and instructions and, and all the links you need available in our community, which you can just find in the link by the video description so that you have all the tools you need in order to complete this tutorial. If in case you're not yet part of the community, so it's a growing community now with more than 250 members, and this is basically for people who want to network with like-minded people as passionate on AI as you, as well as those who want to learn more about AI and automation. And you can see we have a lot of lessons here for you to go to if in case you're interested to learn more about the space. So feel free to join the community and you can find it in the video link in the description. All right, let's dive in. So there's two steps to it. The very first one is for you to make your own voice. So if you head on over to 11labs.io, you can just sign up for free by clicking here. So once you are in your homepage, just head on over to Voices, click on Add a New Voice, and click on Professional Voice Clone. And you can see there's a lot of information here, which basically just gives you a guide on best practices around the audio recording that you would need. And once you click Start, you will now be taken to this interface where you can name your voice, choose the language, and then the most important is for you to upload an audio file that has your voice. So for guidance, you need at least 30 minutes of speaker training data. 11 Labs does say that three hours is optimal, but 30 minutes should be fine. So that's just the key requirement that you would need to prepare in order to do this. So for my case, I have prepared that and you can see it's now in my queue to upload. And what you would want to do is add in labels here. And the labels are important so that your voice can be searchable within 11 Labs. And what I've found as best practice here is by using the direct categories that's available in 11 Labs to use for the labels, which you can basically find by, again, going to Voices and heading to Library. So if we were to fill this up, what you would want to do is to type in a category or a key. In this case, I would start with an accent and have the accent be whatever it is that your voice is most similar to. You can have the gender as well. Add in the age. Add in style, it's which in this case, you can just describe it as calm. And finally, a category, which I would put in as educational. So there, you now have five labels that would help with the SEO of your voice. For the description, you can type this in yourself. But to make this easier, what you will want to do is take a screenshot of this area. Then you can head over to ChatGPT and then type in this prompt that you can just find in our community as well for easy copy paste. And you can see it has provided you with some sentences to put into the description, which you can just edit as you wish. So if I click on create professional voice, it's now going to upload the sample that I've created. And once that's uploaded, you'll go into voice verification, which is good so that people can't just upload random voices in here. And you basically just need to click on start verification and click on start recording. Basically, what you would need to do is to read this and record it. And what 11 Labs is doing under the hood is now verifying that I actually own this voice. 
and now it's successfully verified. I can click on Finish, and you can see if I go to my Personal Voices tab, there is now a brand new voice in here. So it's not yet ready as of yet. What you would want to do is click on View, and under Recommended Models, make sure to add everything here so that your voice would be available for all the models. And you can see right now that is just creating a data set for your voice. And usually that takes an hour or so. So now when the processing is complete, you can see that this voice is now available. And if I click on View, you can see the recommended models now say the voice is ready to be used. And if I play this now, it will provide a sample of that voice. The angels will help get you where you need to go. And so that voice just now was not me. That was Eleven Labs. So now you have your own personal voice clone that you can use. Now for you to make that available for the community and to monetize it, you would want to click on this voice sharing button and you would want to toggle on sharing as well as discovery in voice library. So if you click on that in the first time, it will actually ask you to connect your Stripe account, which is how they handle payouts, which is quite easy. You just follow that through and it will create the account for you via a pop-up. And then when you head back to this, you will see this menu where you can just click on enable financial rewards and set a notice period. So a notice period is basically when you choose to remove your voice from the community, it will just provide a notice period to people who are using it that this voice is being removed soon, which allows them to migrate. So I just set this as 30 days. And then you can also choose a rate. But for most cases, I think a default rate should be okay. And then you can also choose to have live moderation enabled, which just allows Eleven Labs to screen the type of content that your voice is being used for. So for best practice, it's probably best to turn that on. And then you can also select a custom voice preview if you want, which basically just chooses what sentence the preview is going to speak when it's up in the community. So once that's done, just click on Next. And then for the labels here, just choose the most appropriate. And once that's done, just click on Next. You, you can read the terms here and complete the sharing of the voice to the library. And there you go. Right now, it says it's reviewing the request to share this voice model. And, and once that review is complete, after a day or so, then your voice will now be eligible to earn passive income for you. And there you have it. You will now have your voice available for the community to use. And now Eleven Labs will pay you whenever your voice is used, similar to how a voiceover actor would get income as well. So last two things to know. One is if you are concerned about AI safety, then head on over to this URL, 11labs.io slash safety, to understand how Eleven Labs handles your voice more closely. And then finally, for you to do the professional voice cloning, you do need to be signed up to the creator plan. And if you sign up via the link in my description, you can get 50% off on it, which turns out to be only $11 per month as of the time of this recording. So there you go. If you like this content, please like, please subscribe. It helps us a lot. See you next time. Thank you.